Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here. Go to wallatopia.info and register. I tell you that all the time. Now, we've had quite a few requests for the Core Essentials Wallet. This is a company that uh, produces belts primarily, but they do have a couple wallets. So let's get into it. Comes in this bag. It's kind of a nylon ripstop kind of feel bag. These pull knobs at the top for the drawstring. And let's see, here we go. We got a thank you card. Thanks for your support. Discount code. There it is. Here we are. Core Essential. It comes in only one color, black. Looks like we've got a slot here. This money clip, which is carbon fiber. Let's take a look at the sewing really quick. Lee. All right, well, let's get into the details. Now onto the feature review of the Core Essentials Slim Wallet and Carbon Fiber Money Clip. It's a long name. As we look at this wallet, let's flip it over to the back. We here have a external card slot. This is a quick access card slot here, which is quite nice. And we'll be talking a little bit about RFID in this wallet. This one, this card slot does not have RFID protection. And that's awesome because no wallet should have RFID in it. It's just not useful anymore. And we flip this over. We can see that we have a money clip here. And this money clip is carbon fiber and it can be removed which means that uh, you can have, you have basically two wallets. You have a money clip that is carbon fiber, and then you have the wallet itself. And if we look at the wallet itself, we have the little slot down here. This is where the money clip portion goes in. And then the remaining feature is this top-down card slot here. And this, as you can tell, let's see if we can have you hear this a little bit more. Yes, mm, yeah, that, that's RFID material. Yeah. And we can see that uh, it has a pull strap, comes up, out like that. That's what raises the cards from the bottom here. And with that, we have a feature review of the Core Essentials Slim Wallet with Carbon Fiber Money Clip. Now to the card and cash insertion test. Now you notice I got five cards in there, one on the exterior, four on the interior, and five slips of cash. And of course, you saw all those new currencies, Australian dollars, Swiss francs, I'll show you those in a different video, uh, as well as British pounds, that 50 pound note. That sucker is huge. Look at that right here. That is massive, but it's going away in 2021, so it's okay. It's all gonna be following the other poly notes, a little bit, uh, not as tall, a little shorter. Now, from a company perspective, they say they can have 10 cards and up to 20 slips of cash. That is huge. I had five cards and five slips in there and you saw how it did, did just fine. Now from a quality perspective, this is designed in the United States, but it's made in Asia and it's made from a full grain veg tan leather. Let me see. But it is cut kind of thin. You can kind of see how, how thin that leather is right there. But from a, a, a sizing perspective, it is still a two ounce leather and, and that's fine. You know, the thinness of the leather or the thickness doesn't determine how good it is or how it will necessarily perform. And so you do have cuts of leather that are specific to the function and purpose of the wallet you're trying to get to. Now I would have hoped to see some reinforcement in certain sp uh, spots on this particular wallet, in particular right here in this exterior card slot right here. Up at the top, you would expect it to see some reinforcement there. 
as well as some reinforcement over here where this piece meets here. What's cool is that this really comes from, it's just two pieces of leather. Let, let me show you here, let's take this money clip out. It's two wrapped pieces. So if you take a look at, at this right here, if we looked in here, I put my finger in here, I can see, I can feel the fold. And so you have this exterior piece which folds around and this interior piece <coughs> folds on the inside of this external piece as well. And from in here, where the card slot is, this is where you can actually see that there is additional leather in there. And that is the lower piece of leather under the other one that's wrapped underneath this top piece. Now the edges here are painted, which would likely cause this to crack. The paint will crack uh, after a lot of use. And especially right here at the top, I take these cards out and you can see this paint that is on top of uh, the leather here. Because of this kind of movement that will happen a lot, this will likely begin to crack over time. It's just what painting does, and that's why painting is best done on edges that don't see a lot of physical movement like we would see with, you know, pinching this for thousands of times. And again, because of this RFID, I know, I know this RFID material that's, that's in here kind of made it crunchy, and you can see, here it is right here, in its glory, and you can see how it's folded over the leather at the top and sewn in, and that's really to keep this RFID material in place so that, uh, it gives you all that delicious protection that we've already decided we really don't need that kind of protection anymore. It's more of a marketing gimmick. Now the pole strap itself, this is great quality. This is nylon. And if I can show you where this is uh, sewn, you can see where the strap is sewn on the interior. This is sewn in really, really well. And if there's only one weak spot, it might be on the interior where it feeds out. So if you can get a quick look in here, I'm just gonna show you a video of that. Okay, so in the video you can see where the money clip strap threads up on the, on the exterior and then up through that open slot. That is probably the biggest point of failure, potentially, is uh, tearing that leather, but you'd have to pull down on that often. Normal course of business, I think you'd be fine with this. But just be aware, that's how it's fed up. But overall, it's a very well engineered and secured strap. Now it's priced at $50 and from a usability perspective, it, it's easy enough to use. The, it, quick access uh, on the outside is a no-brainer and the fact that it doesn't have RFID is great because you can use it uh, for tap pay. The leather slanted down here, right here. It's easier to see when you have a card in here. This makes gaining access to the card a little bit easier or cards. You can have you know two or more. It really could fit that. I wonder what we can do here. You can put uh, at least two in there. I know. Don't accuse me of stuffing the wallet. I'm just trying things out here. So you have the ability finger and and thumb to grab cards there. That's really quite nice. And then uh, same thing with the pull strap. This is a, 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 a nice pull strap that aligns fairly well with the top, so it's not floppy and obtrusive. Now it measures 4.2 by 2.7 by 0.4, and it weighs 31 grams. Now my perception on this is the wallet has a one-year warranty. Uh, that's really good, and I think it's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Wallets are an accessory for core essentials, with their main business being belts. Now, if they could ditch the RFID material and increase the leather thickness, the quality of this wallet would increase immediately. Really, it's not hard to do. Uh, but overall, it's a fairly nice uh, design, and the fact that you have a money clip that can separate from it and use them as essentially two separate wallets, kind of a nice touch. So now let's get on to the final score. For quality of three, price of three, features of four, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 35 out of 50. Thanks for being with us today. Tell us what you think of this wallet, any others that uh, you think we should be reviewing. I try to get to all the comments that are made, so please leave them if you have a question, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.